Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them, them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars. And on my Instagram, I'm doing loads of votes so that you can vote on what you'd like me to react to. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, do head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get more exclusive content and guarantee that your request definitely happens, like this very request from Robbie. Thank you, Robbie. I don't know who these guys are, or this guy. Is it Gavin? Let's find out. Okay, I just googled. The lead singer is called Tillian, so not Gavin. I wonder why they're called that. Anyone know? Wow. Wow, that was high. Straight in there. His placement is really like R&B style, like forward plays quite na na na. Is he Australian? No, he's not. He's got that kind of accent where he's placing it. Where do they say he's from? I'm going to check this out. So he's from America. So it is an unusual placement for an American, especially it sounds almost Australian where he's placing it. And it has got that light R&B vibe, but then he's adding that distortion on top, which is really unusual, really cool. It's so unexpected. Neither of them look like they're gonna sing like that. Like, he just looks like some dude. And then he's like, Whoa, that big note from him as well. That was like, his voice is so high set. That was an E flat. People are gonna hate that I say this, but it is, you'll listen to it, listen to it. The way that he places it is like really similar to Justin Bieber, but then he adds this grunge edge to it. It's that like really forward placed light sound. But then it's amazing. Like I'm not sure how he's getting that distortion on those high notes, but it sounds amazing. I'm also liking his use of vowels really open. You can see how much he's opening his mouth and then really closed. A real, really switching on every single word between the two techniques of an open sound and a closed sound, it's actually quite amazing how closed he can be on quite high notes. So it shows how natural he is up on these high notes. So he's getting that punchiness by punching into the consonants. That's how high it is. I just missed that note because it's high. Get it, da 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 da. Get it, da 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 da. I can't believe that he's singing that high because it's high for me and I am a girl. And I suddenly was like, oh, oh, that's real high. But he's making it super percussive, using loads of diction in a part of his range, which is, well, quite ridiculous for a guy.
Wow, 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 wow. I'm really enjoying the mix of styles, how we're getting the funky guitars and the really rhythmic drums, of course they're always rhythmic but in a specific way, and this kind of bounciness to it. It's not heavy, it's not rocky, but then they're using like real metal techniques to... It's really cool, it's really cool. Wow. I found that so interesting. It was such a mix of styles. It was kind of like very Californian pop. And also in his voice, it sounded very pop, very R&B. But then he had these real metal techniques. And I mean, there's the lead singer and the other guy, and they both were like doing these full screams, which I wasn't expecting within that style, but it really, really worked. And uh, <laughs> boy, that guy can sing hi. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.